So good morning, I've made my way to Cranley where I've had some breakfast at Eggs Al Pacino and an orange juice and a coffee. And I am now fueled, ready for Bar Hatch Lane, which is just up there. I can just see it to my left there. We've got 115 kilometers today, finishing at the top of Stoner Hill where I have an Airbnb waiting for me. And then it's all done and dusted apart from the short one hour ride to the train station at Winchester to catch the train home tomorrow. How am I feeling this morning? <laughs> Well, I'm in holiday mode. I am a lot happier. My Achilles in my left heel is very, very sore. But hopefully there's enough left in it just to get me through today. And then it can have some time off the bike and recover. Um, it is quite swollen. But anyway, everything else is fine, considering the distances, the mileage, the weight I'm carrying. But it should be a good ride today. I've got no real hurry to get anywhere today. That was the stress of yesterday. I think part of it was I had to be there at seven o'clock and I knew it was a long day of climbing and I just wasn't getting anywhere. And today I have plenty of time because I can't get into my Airbnb till after 6 p.m. So it's going to be a cruise today. Just aim for sometime after six. Seven climbs today. Bar Hatch, Leith Hill. White Downs, something or other, can't remember. We'll tell you on the way. That's a good one. Several ramps of over 20%. A little bit of a downhill, which confused me because that was it looked like the steepest bit going downhill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's Spa Hatch Lane done. You wanna ride on my wave Just because it's fun You wanna be in my space Too close to the sun Don't seem to care if it's safe Well that makes two of us I'm so insane, so insane all right, so I've made my way over to Leith Hill and I'm making absolutely sure this time I've got Strava running on my phone as well as my Wahoo. I just want to take control now I'm waiting for a different time My body knows that I am faking I'm standing on the edge of breaking Maybe Oh, I'm having some fun this morning. What a great descent that was. There's more can be said for some of these serious cyclists in these Surrey lanes. Got their head down, won't even wave, won't even say hello, even after you said good morning. Anyway, I'm on White Downs now, which I think is number 18. Leith Hill successfully registered. So I'm recording this on Strava as well. Two down. Well, we got 30K in the bank. It's going well so far. Seems to be making more progress than did yesterday. Countryside is wonderful. Drivers, 100% better. So much more forgiving. They'll wait behind you till there's a time to pass. And then they give you a nice wide berth. So big up the sorry drivers. But then again, there's a lot of cyclists out this morning. So if they're used to cyclists, it's probably a common thing. So Kent, get your act together. Come on. So where are you going today? Uh, I'm just doing every climb up Ramble. So I've been up uh, Denbys, uh, the up, right up from Dorking. There's another one from the west side of Ramble. There's one from the Queen stage. This is the fifth one. And then the sixth one is Crocknorth. I will enjoy. And then uh, back up Box Hill, and I live at the top of Box. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Anyway, I'll let you get on because I'm slowing you down, I expect. Well, enjoy the climb. Good 
I absolutely love that one. That's my favorite one today. The lovely little twists, the hairpins, the cyclists inc shouting encouragement as you go up, the drivers shouting out their windows that you got this. Oh, just a great feeling coming up there and meeting one of the locals as well at the bottom, telling me about his uh, little ride today. He's doing as many climbs as I am. Uh, so good luck to you. Ah, oh, yeah, another one done. The other one's not too far away. I think it's sheer. It's one of the uh, another 100 ones. So we've got to go down to come back up. Oh, and the fact it's just started raining as well doesn't matter. I can hear thunder in the background. Doesn't matter. Uh, we can get wet today. I'm not bothered. It's very warm, if not sunny. So it's been a while since I last picked up the camera because it started to rain. I got to the top of Coombe Lane, which is 116 on the official list, and there was a cafe there. So I just went and had a drink and a field roll and I had a chat with a couple of nice cyclists up there. Stayed out the rain for a bit. Then I've descended Coombe Lane, climbed Coombe Lane, descended Coombe Lane, and now I'm on my way out of the Surrey Hills on my way to Quell Lane. Um, I've got 50k on the clock. I have 65k to go. Uh, we have three climbs left, which means we've done 40 official climbs to this point. I've got Quell Lane, Milland Hill, and Stoner Hill where we finish at the top. So there's just those three to go. And uh, I'm having a great day. This is a lovely place to cycle. I can, I can see why loads of people want to cycle in the Surrey Hills. Some nice people as well that I've stopped and spoke to. Um, one guy just gave me the nod as I was going up Coombe Lane because he saw, <laughs> saw the weight with respect, so much kudos to him. And uh, thank you to the guy at the cafe that I've had a long chat with, really enjoyed that. It's nice to meet you. Um, yeah, so now we've just got to somehow get to Quell Lane, which I don't know how far away it is. Um, stop raining now. And I am in a great mood. What a difference 24 hours makes, because this time yesterday, I was as grumpy as I've been for I don't know how many years. Um, yeah, but I'm back to myself today. Apart from my um, left Achilles, have I mentioned that it's hurting? That's Quell Lane, two to go. He was a tough one.
Right, so we did promise to tell you what this black box is about. So if you want to leave your bike nice and secure and you're worried about it being stolen at night, remote control, lock it. Then you can leave the bike. And then should anybody try and steal it, this will happen. £12.50 on Amazon. Researched it online. Bargain. Today and not tomorrow There's no time to borrow Today is a good day to live This morning I so clear a lot as any to see the horizon in the far excuses were too for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car and when i feel the wind on my face so i'm in my way over to petersfield mcdonald's has been consumed I'm now on Stoner Hill on my last ascent of this trip up to High Cross. It's been challenging in oh so many ways, ups and downs, but I've loved every minute of it. And the fact I've accomplished it, what I set out to do, which seemed a bit mad when I planned it. And now I'm just 1.1 kilometers away from the end of this climb. So if you've got any questions, anything you want to know, kit list, regrets, things I should have taken but I didn't, things I took that I didn't need to, any questions you want to ask, put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And that is it. Ah, uh, 43 official climbs in one week. <laughs> with boat packing kit. I am an absolute nutter. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video, which will be Summit Flat. <laughs> no, it won't, you know it won't. But I hope you've enjoyed the series. Uh, I've certainly loved it. We've had Grumpy Darren, Happy Darren, Dopey Darren, pretty much all of the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, and it's just starting to rain, so that couldn't have been timed any better because I'm only a couple of kilometres away. I might film something on the train tomorrow just to go with a, a video uh, so you can see how I get home and unpack all the kit so you can see what I took. But thank you ever so much for watching. That is a wrap. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> see you in the next video.